Hello everyone, I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and this video is in the Engine Technology Series. Today we're going to be having a look at two websites that um, will give you, I think, different options for uh, analysing the game. One of those is Chessify, really powerful cloud uh, service for chess engines, as you can see. And the other one is the Decode Chess website, which uh, aims to explain games in natural language. So uh, let's start off with um, with Chessify. Um, I've used this uh, reasonable amount and uh, I've mentioned it a few times in my videos. Um, you've got two possibilities for analyzing with, um, uh, with Chessify. You can just go to a website like this and then just enter moves and then analyze. Um, it's actually got a lot more fully featured in the in the past uh, couple of months. It was quite basic uh, beforehand. Um, that's uh, quite nice, you know, just for a bit of quick analysis. But what I really like um, is the ability to uh, plug Chessify into um, your GUI of choice. Uh, Chessbase I knew about actually. I didn't realize about uh, Skid as well. So um, uh, and then uh, actually you can just you know you've got your your databases uh, uh, in your uh, Chess GUI and then you can just uh, seamlessly integrate your um, your analysis with that. Let's have a little look how that actually um, looks like, how that actually works. Um, we'll just bring up a game here. Oh, we've got, uh, I was already busy just uh, testing things out. So there we are, this is a position from uh, um, uh, Carlson Nipomniacci Game 8 World Championship. Um, so how does that actually work? Well, um, if I actually um, add a kibitzer, you can see I've got all my kibitzers here. So um, what I can simply do is, um, these are all my local machines, Stockfish, Revenge, Leela with a big 40B net, or just normal Leela or Corvisto or Ethereal. Let's just go for Chessify Cloud Stockfish. I'll just say okay. Then it's just going to uh, connect to, uh, to Chessify. I might need to enter my username and password. Probably not because uh, I've uh, entered it already uh, this morning. Um, and there we are. I've got a, a, a meager 50 coins. Um, so what actually happens? How does this work, this, uh, this payment? Well, uh, you just buy coins in advance and then uh, you just hire a machine for a number of coins per minute. Um, well, here we've got the absolutely huge machines. They're um, presumably all used up. Who knows, maybe this is Anish doing some last minute uh, uh, preparation or something. So um, uh, I can just order this machine here. In we go. And um, uh, well, what normally happens is that uh, you don't get a machine immediately, but what you do get is you get um, some free analysis in the meantime. Uh, and then once you've just got to keep a little eye uh, on uh, this uh, window, and when this turns green, then you've got, uh, you know, You'll have your full server but i mean um, um up to 100 uh, uh, million nodes per second i'm getting 27,000 uh, kilo nodes per second that's not the full whack but that's pretty good i mean when you think my machine uh, is um is doing something like um uh, 10 or 12,000, and uh, you know i've got 14 uh, well 16 uh, 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 threads available in my machine and um uh, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm uh, I'm only getting um, kind of the half or less than half of that. You can imagine how powerful it is. And when you think, you know, for the most expensive machine, you can get one billion nodes per second. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Um, so um, yeah, you can just see it uh, analyzing here, having a little look at um, what it wants to do, saying that castles bishop e6, it prefers to uh, to Nepomniachtchi's uh, rather uh, loose h5. You know, very, very interesting. I mean, when do I use this uh, this sort of um, uh, tooling? I use it for um, when I want to do a short burst of very intensive analysis. I mean, um, it costs money, right? And uh, this ticks down quite quickly. I mean, I've only got uh, two and a half minutes uh, worth with, uh, with this amount of coins. So, um, you know, you can't just leave your machine on all day. Uh, well, I certainly wouldn't recommend that. But, um, but if you want a small burst of very intensive analysis, lots of nodes, lots of depth, then this is absolutely perfect. And um, I mean, what I normally do, the way I normally use this is uh, if I've done a lot of analysis, you know, with my machines at home, then um, I suddenly uh, check all my conclusions with, uh, you know, maybe five or six minutes of analysis with, with the most powerful machine, check to make sure that it's all good and then that's it you know very powerful uh, very powerful weapon uh, chessify and uh, i mean you can also get uh, you know some sort of uh, bundles and uh, 
um, uh, deals that uh, you know go quite a long way and uh, can you know, assist you with uh, if you want to do more uh, intensive analysis for longer. But uh, yeah, just for a normal amateur, then you know this is quite a nice uh, power tool. And there we are. You see, I'm uh, I was just uh, talking, waiting. You know, probably about two minutes or something, and uh, then we get it. We make a move, and then uh, Chessify kicks in at um, at a huge speed. Very very nice indeed. Uh, the one thing that you've got to say, don't forget please to press stop server, otherwise your coins run down very, very quickly. So there we are. That was Chessify. Now, we're going to take a look at the next website. So the other website I want to have a look at is uh, Decode Chess. Um, a little disclaimer on this one, since um, um, I have actually done a, a video for Decode Chess, uh, for which I was paid, so feel free to take that with a pinch of salt. Um, I like this tool. I mean, it's not a grandmaster tool. This is really aimed at the average club player or even at the beginner. Um, and the idea is to use, uh, you know, all that processing power in the cloud, not to go deep, deep, deep into uh, the analysis, but in actual fact to explain the position in natural language. Um, and it works really well and uh, you know sometimes even uh, just explaining the game to yourself like that you even get insights at the grandmaster level so um, this position you might recognize it if you've been uh, watching my channel which I hope you have this is uh, from the game um, Leela against Stofle it's a quite glorious uh, positional masterpiece from uh, from Leela um, and we join the position after black has played the move queen d8 slightly surprising leaving the bishop arm prees. Um, now if you have a look on the right hand side at the top here you get the the general evaluation for the whole game you can see that uh, it was quite tight and tense and then afterwards it was clearly just winning for white. The orange lines are where I've gone a little bit deeper I've pre pressed this plus button and done a deep decode as they call it. Um, so what um, are we saying here we're saying white's got a small advantage um, but should beware of black playing queen takes d4 well that figures and uh, queen e2 the move queen e2 is beneficial um, it threatens to play knight f5 ah, indeed the pawn on e6 is pinned supports the bishop on c4 why is that interesting because after queen takes d4 bishop e3 black can't play queen takes c4 because queen c4 captures the queen um, supports playing um, bishop e3 by controlling uh, the square e3 indeed it does that you know, and that's quite, um, that's quite nice, actually. You know, it's uh, the sort of thing that you see instantly, I think, as a grandmaster, but maybe as, um, uh, as a club player, you know, you might, um, you might miss some stuff. I mean, certainly, if I project uh, um, this onto the games where I'm much less strong, for example, Shogi, where I'm rated about 1,700, 1,800, you know, I'm at the level where I see some stuff but miss a lot of stuff, and I, I often don't understand why elite players resign in their games um, then um, yeah I, I like this very much um, and there's nice stuff like um, you know um, uh, threats what was the threat before playing queen e2 that was queen takes d4 which was going to be a big advantage for black and after playing queen e2 you see that it thinks that queen takes d4 is now an advantage for white so uh, you know even little stuff like that uh, is uh, is taken care of very very nice you know it's um, I like this uh, uh, I, I like this very much, you know. So, um, uh, so that was the uh, the decode uh, chess website. You know, a completely different use of uh, of AI and processing power, and aimed at a different uh, segment, but uh, very very interesting as well. Um, I just wanted to leave you with a final website, um, which you really should know, and this is uh, the Stockfish development website. Um, so this is abrock.eu forward slash stockfish and here you get all the very latest development versions of stockfish um, so not just the official releases but really the um, uh, the bleeding edge stuff and uh, well as you can see <coughs> pardon me the um, uh, you know the stockfish guys are busy all the time and they're always uh, making elo gains on their previous versions so uh, um, you just install it and uh, uh, into your chess GUI in the same way it's just an executable so nothing complicated to do but um, yeah I mean compared to um, you know to the uh, official releases you're always about 10 or 15 elo ahead which is uh, not bad at all and well worth it and definitely gives you boasting rights with your uh, uh, with your chess colleagues so uh, yeah do remember this one abrock.eu forward slash stockfish 
All right, then, I hope that uh, little uh, medley of uh, interesting chess websites has been useful. If you like the video, why not give a like or subscribe to the channel, even take a look at my new book, The Silicon Road to Chess Improvement, which has got lots of engine stuff like this. And otherwise, thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you at the next video.